The process of writing can seem extremely structured and daunting when actually trying to begin, although Anne Lamott explains in this passage how simply approaching the task in a new way can create a more free-based process. This passage is aim aimed at anyone who may ever feel that they're stuck or that they've reached a stopping point in their writing, and tries to convey that a second, third, or even fourth look at a piece may increase its quality greatly. Lamont begins by talking about how most writers will never really sit down and create a full piece of written work, but will rather begin by expressing even their most basic thoughts to have a starting point to look back on. I relate this back to my own experiences in middle school and how simply throwing whatever was on my mind onto a page to help me move through the writing process more efficiently and effectively rather than waiting at a point where I was stuck. I find now that I still do go back and forth constantly when writing a first draft, but I will try to slow down in the sense of revising and try to let my ideas flow to create a more clear idea of what I am trying to say. Then later, go back and see what changes I can make. I found that this tactic will even bring out ideas that I may not have considered if I had used a very filtered writing style. Lamont uses the phrase, the fantasy of the uninitiated, to describe how some people may feel that thought out and clear writing comes immediately to those who are trained in the writing process. Though, really, anyone can adopt the process of writing freely to analyze and revise later on. This is an idea that I agree with strongly, as looking upon writing as something that anyone can do and do effectively if you use the proper strategies is a powerful thing. Later in the passage, Lamont describes how she had trusted the process of free writing although she also talks about the struggle in accepting that it is only the first draft. I've been stuck at points where I can't seem to understand that there is always time for revision, and that you are not trapped with what is written in the first draft. This is something that I believe can be true for all writers, as there, is, as there can be a point at the end of writing a first draft where one may feel that it is complete, and will move on without considering any other options. Failure to look back will only inhibit the quality and depth of the writing as the concepts and ideas represented are not properly challenged in the process of writing. The key ideology that is being portrayed in this passage is that the process of writing can actually be more valuable than what was written in the first draft. It may contain sloppy or even hard to read work, although the process of completing this first step opens up many new opportunities and sparks ideas that are not present at first thought. 